Once the first bone is done, check that motion remains between the two bones, ensuring that no undetected iatrogenic situation may have occurred which impairs radial ulnar motion, such as a proximal fracture, over-tensioning the closure, or sewing tissue that is tethered to the other bone. If motion is obstructed, investigate and remediate the issue. Now, instrument and prepare the other bone, in this case the ulna, using the same principles as the first bone. Remember to take cultures from the intermedullary canal of the second bone, as there may be a different bacterial environment in the different canal. Again, be careful while reaming to avoid injury and to avoid over-reaming. Be gentle when impacting the implant. Perform the purse string muscle closure using the same principles as the first bone.